Hey, this is Richard Miller with Goldie May, and I want to tell you today about a not well-known feature on Goldie May for helping you find all of the census records. Now, remember, the census is your backbone, the backbone of your research. You want to find your ancestor in every census record you can, no matter what country you're doing research in, if the country has censuses. So let's say I'm looking for my ancestor, Leonard Wilson, who was born in 1830 in the U.S. 1920 census. I'll hit uh, search on this uh, search. And then on Goldie May, I can go open over to more tools. This is sort of where some hidden features are. And you'll see this thing appear called adjacent collections because I'm on a search results page for a census. Now, the idea here is that it's showing me that I'm on the 1920 census, but with a click of a button, I can go back to the 1910 census and run the same search for him again. So in the 1920 census, he comes up first. He's in Madison County, Iowa. If I click 1910, it will rerun the search with whatever fields I've used. So whatever fields I've happened to use, whether I use you know, marriage facts or relationships or anything, all of those fields get transferred over and the search gets switched to the next decade over. So now I'm looking for, I'm seeing him in the 1910 census and there he is, the, the fourth one down. And I can just start to go decade by decade back through his life and uh, find him in all of the censuses. You know, as I get to 1890, that's of course the burned one that for most people won't have any results. But as I get back to 1880, I start to see results for him again in Iowa. And I can just go through all of the censuses and make sure that I find him uh, for every decade. Now this works on both Family Search and on Ancestry. So if you're on Ancestry 1920, Leonard Wilson, I can click 1910 and it will rerun the search for 1910. Leonard Wilson on Ancestry. This also works for the England and Wales censuses. So here I am on the 1871 census for Mark Downs. I can click to go back and forth to various other census searches in uh, in the in, in England in this case. This also works on Ancestry. And uh, here is, for example, the Canada census of 1901 on Ancestry. You'll notice that uh, the next census up is five years later in 1906. This is more of a regional census. It's for a few of the provinces, but it's included here in case your ancestor is in, in living in that part of Canada. And then I can skip on until uh, to 1911 if if the previous didn't apply and, and on to 1916, etc. So that will let me check all the census records through Canada. And then it also includes Denmark. So this is the 1834 Denmark census. You'll notice the previous one is almost uh, 30 years prior, or Pat is over 30 years uh, prior, and the next one is just one year later. So uh, Denmark has a ton of census collections, but you can go through all of them one by one by clicking on that button and just stepping through. I just wanted to make sure you knew about that. I use it as I'm doing search searches on census records, and I hope it's helpful to you as well.